Okay. So, today we're going to be putting a 13 tooth uh, sprocket on. Uh, now, there's a couple of things I need to get before I can get in there. One of which is a deep socket 8mm to get in there because um, it doesn't fit. Now, whenever you change the sprocket size, it affects the reading of the speedo. And in order to compensate for that, what I've done is fitted a bicycle computer, which I need to test the accuracy of before I go changing anything. So we'll drop the sprocket in there. Now, what we've got is the bike computer in there and this magnet don't know if the GoPro will see that or not it's just stuck on there with Gorilla Tape um, so I'm just going to wrap a bit of black tape around there to hold that on because there's no way that is staying on Uh, on the road. So that, I'll be very shook if that will move. And of course the magnet will read through that black tape. Ooh. So we'll get the bike warmed up and we'll see uh, just how accurate this little bike computer can be. The sound quality here is going to be shit, and I apologise for that. I broke my good lav mic, and the one I'm using now is absolute rubbish. Now the problem is, is it's not going to update very well and my overall plan was to use the GoPro's GPS to figure out uh, how far out it is if I've done my radius or circumference calculation correctly it should be reading five or six k's under what the um, dash is reading. Which that's not terribly far out to be honest. Now, I've confirmed the stock speedo should be out by about 5 k's. And I'm hoping that uh, this footage will confirm. But of course I won't really know. Uh, I'll trust the GPS and the GoPro to give me an accurate speed reading. And it has been consistent every time I've, um, I've checked. It's been between 5 and 6 k's. Uh, lower than what the, sp the speed says and of course the reason I want this to be relatively accurate is I would like to figure out how far out the speedo's gone when I change the front sprocket size the trouble with the trouble with this wireless uh, bicycle computer is there's a couple of seconds delay in the speed. Which is why once I figure out the difference in uh, the heads up display, I'll be able to do some mental gymnastics to figure out, you know, what my actual speed is. 
And it's not this slow speed stuff that I'm concerned about, it's when we get up to speed. We're doing 80 k's now, the speedo was only registering 50. <laughs> So it is a bit rubbish in that regard. It's supposed to read up to 200 kilometers an hour. seems to be accurate enough at slow speeds but uh, as soon as I went above 60 k's an hour it just started having a freaking heart attack yeah it's way out Yeah, this is... I just don't think it's reading the magnet well enough. So I'm going to pull into this side street and see if I can't adjust the sensor a little. accelerating far too quickly for the poor little bicycle computer to keep up. This little bike computer is all over the place. It seems to struggle with anything over 60 k's an hour and it's not going to be a reliable means. Even if I had gotten the circumference wrong, it should still be consistent, even if it's consistently wrong. But that's why the GPS on the GoPro was always going to be my backup. <laughs> 